I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and today I have a memory planning process for you. I am working on the week of Halloween, so I have pulled out the Hey Pumpkin line from Crate Paper. I've used a lot of this paper already, but there's still plenty to choose from, so I'm excited to pick some of these pieces. For this spread, I have just a few ephemera pieces left, not a whole lot, and then I may pull out, I have some Pip Sticks stickers that are Halloween, and then of course I have some Happy Planner stickers stickers that are Halloween that I um, can also use. So I will put you guys on fast forward. I will link everything that I end up using down below in the description box. Otherwise, let's go. All right, so I decided for this spread, for the pictures that were specifically Halloween related, like the weekend pictures, we had a lot going on, a couple of different parties and things like that. I decided I would kind of set them off with some different paper. So I'm flipping through and looking for some paper that kind of catches my eye. And I really, really love these little ghosts flying around. I think they are super adorable. So I'll have that over in this corner where the weekend is, and then I'll pick the four pictures. Now I have a million pictures from Halloween. I just chose four of them that kind of represented the weekend. So I'll put those on that paper and kind of separate them off from the rest of the spread. But first, of course, I'm going to mat the pictures because that's what I do. So I'll just use this black spotty dot paper to add a little black border around each picture so that they pop off the ghost paper even more. This is a really good way to highlight specific events in your memory planner. You can always add like a whole extra page if you have a ton of pictures from an event like a holiday or a wedding or something like that, but really setting them off on a different piece of paper within your memory planning spread is another way to highlight those particular pictures. So those will live over in the corner and then I'm just going to experiment on where else I can have a few other things. I love using tags because you can add washi tape to them and add a little bit of a tip in feel and that's what I'm going to do here. This is another picture of my kids in their costumes except for my daughter who is in her Harry Potter costume from previous years. They had spirit week at school and they don't do dress up day but they do book character day. So just wanted to um, have those pictures in there as well. So I'm adding a little bit of paper on the back of this tag and then I will add that photo and eventually it'll be a tip in on this page so that I will still have room to write. I knew from all of the larger elements that I was kind of wanting to include on the page that I was going to run out of room to write. So I'll add the picture on the back of there and then I will put that in with washi tape a little bit later when I'm starting to adhere things down on the page. All right, so as I start kind of moving things around, I decide I should probably go ahead and figure out where I want the rest of the pictures to be if I want to go on the back of another tag. And I decide to go ahead and just line up three different pictures that happened towards the end of the week on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, and I will use some different Halloween cardstock on those particular pictures. And then when I have the other tag, the trick or treat tag as a tip in, then I'll still have a pretty good amount of journaling lines. So I'll go through, I kind of wanted some black paper to contrast with the orange ghost paper that I already had in there, but I wasn't sure which black paper I wanted because I needed it to be pretty long. So I will go with the spotty dot paper. You just get a little hint of the orange coming through. I'll mat those three pictures together on the paper, trim that out with my Fiskars paper trimmer, and that will go behind this one right here. And that will pretty much fill up that whole side of the spread. And then I'll use that same paper because I do like to repeat paper on either side of the spread. I'll use that same one to mat a couple of different pictures. One of my daughter and my dog and I cuddling up in the craft room to watch a scary movie. Not really that scary. It was Cruella from uh, the Disney movie, like the backstory of Cruella. So not super scary, but um, a good movie. And then my son losing his first tooth, he waited all the way until second grade to lose his first tooth. So glad we got a picture of that moment. And now I'm just looking for some paper to do the last of the matting, a couple different pictures um, from earlier in the week. And I will use the same, it has the same color orange. So even though I'm not using the ghost paper, I am repeating that color over on the side of the page and I'll mat the last couple of pictures right there. 
Okay, so now that I have all of my major elements planned, then I will just adhere them on the page and then work on some of the smaller ones, which is how I normally work through my memory planning processes, working from bigger things like the pictures and larger ephemera pieces, and then adding in smaller ones as I go. So getting all of those pictures down on the page is really important because then I know where I will be able to add journaling. And at this point, I'm kind of looking to see where some different pieces will go. So that tag will come down here. Where can I add some other ephemera up here? I happen to really dig this one that says beware. So I will use that as a tip in as well. And then I also really like those stars, but it is time to kind of look through my happy planner stickers and see what else I can get as well. First, let me get these big pieces down. Here is how you create a tip in. You just use some washi tape. This happens to be from Illustrated Faith. You add washi tape on one side to form a hinge. And then to make sure it is nice and secure, you're gonna wanna flip it over and add washi tape on this inside as well. And I'm just pressing it down really hard to make sure it's really secure. And then I will do the same thing up at the top. This was a little bit big. You want your washi tape to be slightly smaller um, so that it works as a true hinge and doesn't get caught on itself. So adding this in right here, and then I will be able to flip this up as well and add in a little bit more journaling, but also be able to have that fun embellishment, which I really like. So all of that is working really well. It's now time to flip through here. I wanna add something over on the left-hand side that's kind of like a running to-do list of what happened that week, like a little um, week in the life kind of look. So I think I'll go with this orange one. I had a little bit of trouble getting it up, but I thought it was curved at the top, but it turns out it's not. That was just part of the sticker. So that will go here, and then I'll be able to layer this piece that says scary kind of across the middle and then I can see what other pieces I have. Let me put the scary one down because that was definitely something that I wanted to include. And then I'm just going to see what else fits in some different places. So um, I have these little foiled stars. They're kind of a holographic look and I'm going to use those to block off over here to, um, I can have two different journaling places in that way. So if I use the stars over here, it divides the two sections, the white space at the top and the white space in the middle so that they will be two separate journaling sections. And you'll see that in a minute when I add in all of the lines. So just a little adhesive on those. And of course, I think it's always fun to add a little bit of foil look, a little bit of shine is um, always fun on your spreads. Even if it doesn't photograph well, it's still fun for you to look at. Once those are down, then I will start to look for a few more stickers. I really, really like the sticker book from the Happy Planner. I love that it's like a Halloween dedicated sticker book. And I thought I'm just going to go for it because this is the last Halloween-esque thing I'm going to be doing for a whole year pretty much because I have no other Halloween spreads in my regular planner. And since Halloween was this week, there will be no more documenting. I love this piece. It says Ghoul Gang, but it is on a transparent sticker paper like translucent. And I really wanted it to stand out. So I will just put it on some white paper, white cardstock, and then very carefully trim it out with that white edge that way it'll pop off of the pictures that I'm putting it on over here for Halloween and it's perfect because there was a picture of two of my good friends um, and myself all dressed up for Halloween um, one of them threw a great Halloween party for all of our friends which was a lot of fun to have right before we went trick-or-treating so putting that paper down so that it pops off nicely and then I'll kind of peruse and see what other pieces. But I've really enjoyed using this Halloween sticker book. I hope that they either re-release it or maybe I should look for another one, um, like pick up another one for next year just because I really liked it. There are still a lot of stickers in here. I probably don't need another one. I could probably make like a bunch more spreads with what's here, but I'm always afraid that I will like run out of those stickers. So I have the tendency to kind of hoard what is in my stash. Loved the Halloween donuts. That was super, super cute. I don't like those tweezers. Those are the reverse tweezers. Those of you that have like figured out the reverse tweezers and are super used to them, I'm really jealous. I have a pair and they just, it doesn't work for me. It's like my brain cannot comprehend that those scissors are working in opposite directions or those tweezers. Um, it's kind of crazy. All right. So adding a few little embellishments here and there, I decide I want to go ahead and add another sticker on that piece um, 
that's flipped up on that tag later. So, but first I'll go ahead and add some journaling lines. In this case, I'm gonna use black journaling lines and then off camera, I will do all of my journaling with some orange, like an orange gel pen. I have really enjoyed changing up the pens I use for journaling and adding a little bit of color um, in that way. All right, so I will add in all those lines, add in one last sticker, and then do all of the journaling off camera. And then I'll bring it back on camera and show you my last little bit as I finish up the lines right here. And I will take this off, come back, and the magic of editing. There's all my journaling and I'm just going to fill in the running list over on the side of everything that happened in that week. And I kind of like doing that on my memory planning spreads. It's like capturing that list in um, on the side just is a cool week at a glance kind of feel. All right. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I will link supplies down below if you're interested in checking out anything that I used in this video. I want to give a huge shout out to my scrappy YouTube members. You guys are awesome. And to the rest of you, I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.